BS Metro Detroit's in the midst of a meteor craze, and whoever finds a piece of that space rock could cash in for some big bucks. But beware of fakes. A Fraser Pawn Shop owner tells us one man walked in trying to sell a piece of asphalt, claiming it, of course, was a meteorite, right? The now Detroit's Simon Chowdhury shows us how to tell if it's the real deal. Simon. This is all the buzz among Michiganders. Now people are on the hunt to find the remnants of a meteor. The guy's claiming it was a uh, meteorite and he found it on his farm. And on Wednesday, a man walked into Jackpot Pawn Shop in Fraser, saying he found a space rock. But employees say it looked like concrete or uh, almost he, he described it as a piece of like pothole with uh, still had like yellow paint on one edge of it. How to tell meteorites from meteor wrongs. John Zawiski is with the Cranbrook Institute of Science. He says prior to Tuesday's event, there have only been 10 known falls in Michigan. Although there have not been any official reports of meteorites found this week, you can do a quick Facebook market search and find some fake ones. Here is one of the two main varieties of meteorites. You want to test that one? All right. Yeah. Okay, that's strongly attracted. When something like this happens, science impacts people directly. For starters, there are two common types of meteorites, stony and iron. Both attract magnets, plus the rocks are deceptively heavy, and you'll find dimples on it. If you were doing a systematic search to use a metal detector, they're pretty popular as hobbies these days. If you want to learn more about meteorites, the Cranbrook Institute of Science is hosting a Rocks from Space event this Saturday at 1. We'll have more information on our website at WXYZ.com. I'm Simon Chowdhury for the Now Detroit. All right, thanks a lot, Simon.